Alright, hi class. Um, we are going to be going over um, one of the other stories for Unit 7, Week 3. Um, this is going to be a tale. Um, <clears throat> so you can just look at it. It's a Nancy, an African tale. And you can um, tell just by the illustrations that you see that this is probably not going to be um, an informational text, but more of a fictional te text. Um, and that's also a clue because it says it's a tale. Um, so remember we've talked about tales before and we've read a few um, and how they they teach us a lesson. Um, so before we begin, we're going to go over the vocabulary um, for the whole week. Um, so the first vocabulary word is habitat because we're talking about the animal kingdom. Habitat is a huge vocabulary word. Um, habitat is the place where an animal lives and grows. Um, so for example, frogs live in a pond habitat. So remember I told you um, in your writing sheet today, it's all about frogs and it says lily pad and pond. So maybe you can write about the frog habitat. Um, so the next vocabulary word is going to be complain. Now complain is when you say that you are upset about something and I know, you know, we all have a tendency to complain sometimes, especially being in the house and not being able to see our friends. Um, it's hard to kind of not complain. Um, but it says, for an example, dad told my brother not to complain about his homework. Um, so you don't want to complain about your homework. You want to do it because it helps you learn and be smarter. And getting ready for first grade, that's a huge deal. The next one is wild. So a wild animal lives in nature and is not cared for by people. So you should never get too close to a wild animal because maybe a wild animal is not familiar with people because people don't care for wild animals. So maybe think about a time um, that you've maybe seen an animal in the wild and what kind of wild animals you know, would you see around your home? I know a lot of us maybe go fishing or hunting and when we go fishing, the fish that are in the, the lake or the pond or the stream, whatever, those are wild animals. Same with if you go hunting for like squirrel or deer or whatever, those animals are in the wild. So maybe think of a few more animals that you might see in the wild. Um, next we have join. Join is when, uh, when you join someone, you and the other person do something together. Um, so what kind of team would you like to join? So think about maybe any sport that you would like to join and be a part of and maybe play with your friends. A lot of us play soccer, so you join the soccer team. A lot of us play basketball or t-ball and you join the basketball or the t-ball team, okay? And last but not least is stubborn. So if you are stubborn, you never give up. A stubborn person will not change his or her mind very easily. So why do you think some people are stubborn? In what situation would you be stubborn and you would not give up and you would not change your mind very easily, okay? So these words are gonna be used in our story as we begin to read it. So let's go ahead and jump right on in. <clears throat> so this is a Nancy, an African tale. <clears throat> so let's think a lot while we read about habitats, um, and I'll ask some questions at the very end. <clears throat> okay, it was an average morning in the African desert. No wind was blowing. The sun was just warming up and the birds were chirping and searching for food in the branches of the baobab trees. And Nancy the spider lived in the desert habitat at the bottom of a twisty baobab tree. She caught beetles and moths and flies and butterflies in her web. She was cooking up yesterday's catch fried bugs with beetle sauce. <clears throat> and Nancy was humming and cooking when her friend Turtle walked by. He stopped at the welcoming smell of food. May I share your breakfast, Nancy, he asked. Certainly, Turtle, Nancy answered after a long pause. But if you please, wash your hands first. So we know, <clears throat> think about the habitat. Where in the world are Nancy and the Turtle? And where does a Nancy live? And what is this that she has? Think about the habitat that she lives in. What is this that she has to catch her food? And remember, especially during this time, you have to wash your hands before you eat, okay? Wash those hands. Turtle frowned, but he agreed to go wash his hands. This is the driest part of the desert, he thought as he walked away. I don't want to complain, but the nearest water is all the way back at the river. 
As Turtle walked to the river, he watched out for wild animals that might eat him, like eagles and baboons. It was a dangerous trip. Finally, Turtle reached to Nancy's house, and Nancy was sitting back in her chair looking very satisfied. Then Turtle saw that half of the food was gone, and Nancy looked at Turtle closely. Your hands are still dirty, she said. I want to share my breakfast with you, but you must go wash your hands again. So Turtle returned to the river and washed his hands again. On the way back, he tried his best to keep them from getting dusty. Back at Nancy's house, Turtle found that all of the food was gone. I was going to save some food for you, said Nancy, but then I decided that you would not want to eat cold insects. Next time, Turtle knew that Nancy had tricked him, but he said nothing. He simply went home hungry. <clears throat> A few weeks later, it was another hot day in the desert. All of the desert animals were cooling off near the river. Dragonflies buzzed above the water. Birds waded in the water, searching for fish. A family of elephants took a loud bath and sprayed each other with their trunks. The river was Turtle's home. He had spent the morning fishing for minnows. And Nancy crawled to the river's edge just as Turtle was sitting down to lunch. She could see him at his table under the cool, clear water. And Nancy poked her head into the river. Hello, Turtle. May I join you for lunch, she asked. Why, of course, Turtle replied. It would be my honor. Come on down. And Nancy dived into the water, but she floated right back up to the top. She was too light to stay down at the table. Keep trying, Turtle called. He watched happily as he took a giant bite of snails. And Nancy kept trying hard to sink, but it was useless. So turtle has a different habitat than a Nancy. Think about turtle's habitat down here, okay? A Nancy watched turtle eat his delicious lunch, but she could not reach him. She became upset. Then the stubborn spider came up with a clever plan. She filled her jacket pockets with heavy river rocks. The extra weight helped her sink to the river bottom. And Nancy pulled up a chair at Turtle's table, picked up a fork, and reached for a bite of snails. Just one minute, my friend, said Turtle. And Nancy stopped. What seems to be the problem, Turtle, she asked. Well, at my house, it is not polite to eat with a jacket on. Please take off your jacket, Turtle said. And Nancy knew that she could not be rude if her fr at her friend's house. She took off her jacket and floated back up to the surface of the water. Her plan had failed. All she could do was crawl home hungry. Turtle tricked me right back, and Nancy thought as she fixed her bed. I guess I deserved it. Later that afternoon, Turtle visited the babab. He apologized to a Nancy, and she apologized too. The two friends promised to share their food from then on. So we talked a lot about the habitats and how in the first, let's see, in the first picture, we described the habitat of a Nancy and what she was doing with her web. Let's take a look at our second card and think, how did Turtle feel when he kept having to go back to the river to wash his hands? If you can look at a Nancy's face, she seems pretty happy, but I don't think that's the same thing for Turtle. And then we talked about how a Nancy was tricking Turtle. How did a Nancy trick Turtle? And what was the point of tricking turtle? Next, we see turtle and he is eating without a Nancy. Why do you think he's eating without a Nancy? And a Nancy comes across a problem. She needs to figure out how to get to the bottom of the pond to go eat with turtle. How does she solve her problem? And last but not least, how does turtle trick a Nancy? And how does the story end? Think about that and discuss it and you can comment or email me with any of the answer to the questions. And then I want you guys to kind of see if you can look around maybe your yard um, and find a different habitat for maybe an animal that is in your yard. It could be like a worm, it could be a spider, it could be a frog, um, it could be any animal that you see outside and think about its habitat. And maybe compare that to, like we talked about last week, how we had um, a family pet. Well, we know if we have a pet at home, we know their habitat is with us, right? 
think about something other than maybe a family pet that you can see around you and describe their habitat. Alrighty, thank you for reading with me. Bye.